Hello and welcome to UI Vision. In this tutorial, we will show you how to automate all kinds of tasks and tests with computer vision. Let's start with web browser automation. The sample task for our demo is to automate a distance measurement on Google Maps. We first record a skeleton macro with classic web automation. As we browse the website, the steps are added to the macro automatically. Done. We stop the recording. For the next automation steps, we use computer vision and native mouse and keyboard simulation. The visual automation is not created by recording. Instead, we create it by simply adding one command after another. This is as easy as assembling Lego bricks. First, we use Visual Assert to confirm visually that the map is loaded correctly. Then we use the XMove command to position the mouse on top of the map. We'll use the same image for this. Since our goal is to measure the distance between Big Ben and Buckingham Palace, we need to zoom out a bit. For this, we'll simulate a mouse wheel movement twice. Now we start the distance measurement. For that, we use X-click to right-click on the Big Ben icon. Measure distance is the last item in the menu. So to reach it, we simulate the cursor down key nine times. Then we simulate the enter key. To repeat the X-Type command nine times, we create a loop with the times command. Next, we need to click on the target for the measurement, so we use X-Click to click on the Buckingham Palace icon. This concludes the distance measurement itself. As the last step, we want to extract the measured value. We could use OCR here, but it will be easier to simply triple-click the line in the pop-up, then use Ctrl-C to copy the value into the clipboard. Let's do this. Inside the macro, we can now access the value with the built-in clipboard variable. OK, the macro is done. It took us less than five minutes to create this automation. Now, let's test it. The macro opens Google Maps, automates the search, simulates the right click, selects the ninth menu item, does the measurement, and finally, the distance is displayed in the macro. Everything worked fine. Since UI Vision is a cross-platform tool, the same macro works on Linux and Mac without changes. To transfer the macro, let's export it. The zip archive files contain the macro itself and all required images. Here we are on a MacBook. As the first step, we import the macro that we just created on Windows a minute ago. OK, the macro and its images are imported. Let's run the automation. UI Vision opens Google Maps. It automates the data entry and the search. 
It finds the Big Ben icon on the map and right clicks it. And now it executes the key presses just like a real user would do. It triggers the distance measurement and extracts the result. All done. In the log file, we can confirm that the Mac automation worked fine. Here we are on a Linux machine. And here is the portable macro that we created previously. Again, let's import the macro and then run it. The import went fine. Macro and images are imported. Now let's run it. The macro opens the website, fills in the search box, opens the context menu, does the measurement, It copies the value and displays it in the macro. All done. The Linux automation worked fine. Previously, we automated tasks inside the web browser. As a demo for desktop automation, let's automate the Windows calculator and read the output with OCR. To create the macro, let's turn on desktop automation mode. In this mode, UI Vision looks at the desktop instead of only the web browser. As before, we build the visual automation by assembling steps like Lego bricks. The first command we need is a double click on the icon that starts the calculator. Let's run the command. That worked! The calculator is now open. Let's calculate 8 times 8. We use the xclick command for each button press. The calculation part of our macro is now done. For screen scraping the result, we use OCR extract relative. First, we take a snapshot of the overall result area. Then we open the image in the built-in editor. Inside the image, we first look for a non-changing area. During replay, UI Vision will use this area to find the correct region. This is also called the anchor image. We mark this area with a green frame. The area with the text to be extracted is marked with a pink frame. As the last step, we output the OCR result. Done! Let's quickly mouse over the xclick commands to verify the input images. Looks good. Let's run the automation. All done. The calculator was automated and the result extracted and verified. Last but not least, let's dive into an advanced topic, the UI Vision command line API. The UI Vision software can be integrated with almost any other tool, programming, or scripting language due to its powerful command line API. In the previous parts of this video, we created a web macro and a desktop automation macro. Now let's combine both tasks and trigger them directly from within a third-party scripting language. As a first example, we'll use PowerShell. Let's open the script and have a quick look at the source code, just to confirm that the macro names are in the script. Okay, let's run it. Everything runs automatically and the results are returned back to the calling script.
This worked well. Now let's do the same, but with a Node.js script. Again, let's have a quick look and confirm that the macro names are in the script. OK, let's run it. Like before, everything runs automatically, and the results are returned back to the calling script. While the automation is running, let me tell you that the full source code is available in our GitHub account. There you will also find many more sample scripts, for example, Python, Linux shell scripts, and Windows batch files. Okay, now the Node.js script is done. Everything worked well. This concludes our tutorial. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit our website and the UI Vision user forum. Happy automation!